So, we made a new friend. And he's gonna try and get us back into the group. I like how he's still wearing the mask. Is he awake? Yeah, he's so hot. I can carry him. You're exhausted. No, I've got him. Oh boy. We're almost back again. They wanted to help us, but we messed up. We got Lewis hurt. Oh god, I should have told them to run. I feel horrible. Like, it didn't even work in the end. The fact that they're still alive, then, like, oh, I did everything wrong. Everything is wrong. I should have just ran. I should have sucked my original decision, but I saw something that made me. Hello. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. He's not a walker. He's not a walker. He's not a walker. He's a friend. Violet, Lewis, they came back. Look, you live out there alone, right? You could stay with us. Uh, yeah. Not ready. Oh god, controller shaking, controller shaking, what's gonna happen, what's gonna happen? Oi, oh, Clem, Clem, buddy, you okay? I can't keep carrying you. I'll be inside soon. Rest now. Hi, buddy. I feel really crummy about a lot of stinking things. Oh, you're too good to me! I don't deserve you! Shit. I don't Is deserve he... you. He's alive. He was shot. He's got a fever. Come on, oh. let's get him inside. I can't. Oh, I don't deserve you. <laughs> Lewis, you're too good to me. Are you okay? He's carrying with a stinking shot arm and I can stink in nothing. Okay, Got we got food and we slept and we still couldn't do it. Oh my god, you're too good to me. Oh, I would much rather make amends with Lewis than with Lily, so let's see if we could do it. Let me see. Oh, yeah, hi guys, we're back. I have what I need upstairs. Come on. We got the shrapnel out of him. We? It's a long story. He's running a fever. Body's trying to fight infection, poor little guy. Ruby and Lewis will take care of him. You come with me. We can talk in the office. And Clem, shh. You just try to rest, okay? We're gonna fix you right up. Clem! Uh, he won't like it if we leave him. AJ, listen to Ruby, okay? She'll look after you. Come on, what do we do when we're scared? When fear starts to get the upper hand, we breathe, we breathe in, hold it in. I'm good now. Oh boy. Clementine, please. We need to talk. Okay. Can Lewis join us? Because I really want to give him a hug and say thank you and I'm sorry and have play a little song on the piano. What happened out in the woods? I saw they had you pinned and I... Shit, I got so crazy. When I heard you call for help, I didn't even think. You would have done it no matter what? I just let go of the arrow. I wasn't even sure if I'd hit her. And then Louis got shot six, six inches over. We'd be digging another grave. I really thought you were dead, Clem. It's just everything is so fucked right now. You know? Everyone is scared, Clem. 
It's really good to see you again. It's good to see you too. Just wish Mitch and the others felt the same. Lewis and I told them what happened in the woods. That woman who attacked you, Lily. So you do know her. We were wondering. Who the hell is she? I mean, I know you're um, with her group. How do I even explain her? The others don't like the coincidence. Her showing up right after you? I mean, she's horrible. She always has been. Her dad was a racist asshole, and she defended everything he did. Great. As if we didn't have more than enough dickheads already. She murdered someone in our group, gunned them down during an argument. Carly was her name. She refused to let Lily push her around. It was right at the start. I haven't seen Lily since. I believe you. But? There's something else. Lily said someone was with you at the gates. James. He saved me and AJ. Let us stay in his camp for the night. But why did you bring him here? You led him right to us. I mean, he's a stranger, Clem. Running into those two in the woods, it proved we can't trust anybody. Look, he's not with the raiders. He lives by himself in the woods. Willie said he was wearing, I don't know, animal skins or something. Oh, it was real. Maybe he was wearing I don't know. walker skins. Explain. That's Walk oh, it was real. Oh, that's so gross and too. unsanitary. <sighs> wow. Okay. I wouldn't have brought him here if I thought he was a threat. It's not that I don't trust you. I'm just worried about the others and what they might do. They didn't even get a chance to mourn Brody and Marlin before these child snatching assholes showed up. And then you two come back after we thought you were dead. Now they're confused and no one knows how to feel about AJ. Violet? AJ is the least of their worries. I know, but everything is such a mess. They're scared and angry, and they're looking for someone to blame. Oh, I mean, that's never good, out. though. How am I supposed to make them change their minds about you? It was decided. Five to three against. I know it feels like it shouldn't matter, but they were afraid of you. Both of you. Last thing they need is more things to fear right now. You don't have to. Let me convince them. James told me what Lily and Abel will do next. He said they'll get more people and guns and come attack us. Take everyone here. How the hell would he know? He's watched them for a while. They're at war with another community. They take people to fight for them. Is that what happened to Minnie and Sophie? They turned them into soldiers? Yeah, it'll happen to us too if we don't stop them. Minnie didn't even like killing walkers. Look at this place. It's a fortress. With a little work, we could make this place really hard to attack. Do you actually know how to do that? Yeah, I was part of a siege once in a town called Richmond. Here, let me show you. Man, we've been through a lot. Like, she just keeps on mentioning season one stuff. Season three, season one, three, two, one, two, three. It's just really sinking cool. It all comes back to us now. Uh, fortify the walls. We've got good, strong walls. We need to make them hard to climb over, so the raiders have to come in through the gates. We used to keep barbed wire in the greenhouse. Uh, set traps in the admin building? This is where we should make our stand. There's only one way in, the front, and then there's the big central staircase. If we rig that path with traps, we can pull back here. Luring in our attackers. I like it. The courtyard's pretty wide open, not a lot of cover. We should flip the picnic tables, narrow down the pathways through it, so we'll know which way they're coming. At the very least, it'll give us protection if they get past these walls. Anything else? Well, you guys don't use the greenhouse anymore, do you? No, we used to. Then we lost someone out there. Walkers overran the place, and Marlin wouldn't let us go back. <laughs> Safe zone. We need to get that barbed wire, so they can't climb the walls. I'll go. Are you sure? It's gonna be swarming with walkers by now. Okay, what the hell's going on? Oh, hi, buddy. Lily told me she was back, but I was like, no way. Violet wouldn't just go against what we all decided. 
Shh. Would you keep it down? The little boy is asleep. His fever's already going down, Clem. He's gonna be okay. Great. We're just giving them our medicine, too? Mitch, those people who shot Lewis, they're arming up to attack the school. We need Clem's help. Like hell we do. For all we know, she's one of them. I'm not. She's not. If you saw their leader's boot on Clem's neck, you'd know that. All I know is that since she showed up, you already did try to trust me. <laughs> I'm gonna say it anyway. You're angry that you lost a friend, but you have to trust me. If you don't, we don't stand a chance. I trust you to put a bullet in the back of my head, Mitch. Clem's going to the greenhouse to find barbed wire and anything else she thinks we need for the fight, and you're going to help her. Uh, no, I'm not. Yes, you are. It's too dangerous for her to go by herself, and you're good in a fight. I can go too. You know, to keep the peace. We need peace kept. Fuck, Vi. Since when are you the one making the calls? <gasps> Since no one else stepped the fuck up. These two will meet you at the gate, and you can head to the greenhouse once I've explained the situation. See you there. I'm so sorry, little dude. Please be okay. Oh, they're buddies again! I... Hey, did I mention that I don't deserve you? Hug, hug, hug. He needs a hug right now, so let's think about it. Come on, Clem. He's asleep. Go to Lewis. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Oh my god. I wish Clem knew how to play piano, then we could play him a song to make him feel better, maybe. Then probably make him feel sad, but... Come on, there needs to be something. Give me something. Come on, go back to the happy times of episode one. Oh, why can't I, I talk to Lewis? How long it's been. How much it's changed. Ah, uh, this ain't budging. You gonna stand there sulking all day? You gonna do something useful? Well, we need that barbed wire. There must be another way in. Oh boy, collectibles can be found in the world! Well, that narrows it down. Oh, what do I even want to find a way in? Uh, wasn't a way- oh wait, no, I'm thinking of the game A Way Out. Wasn't A Way Out, though, a name of that episode once? I don't know, whatever. Does not matter. I don't even know what to say. Like, with Lily being back and everything, the thing is, she wasn't always horrible. Like, I go back and replay episode one, she was actually pretty sane in the beginning. It was just the- Horrible situation with her dad. Wild boar. Not too many in these parts, but they were more common where I grew up. I used to hunt them with my old man when I was little. They make terrible noises when they die. I like it. It'll look good on my wall. Well, we found a collectible. <laughs> a wild boar skull for your bedroom for now. For our bedroom for now. Of... Yeah, what I was trying to say, like, Larry hated us because he knew about our past we just used the we lied about him being racist because we didn't want everyone else to find out about our past yet but then we wound up telling everyone anyway in episode three um and then lily she was thinking miserable because of course her dad's thinking dying and like we were locked in that horrible situation can he jump the gun and did something that we didn't want him to do but we took Lily's side in that moment. She doesn't, she doesn't remember that. She remembers us leaving her on the side of the road after she murders someone. She jumped the gun. She did the exact same thing that Kenny did that she was upset with. And she was wrong in the end. It was Ben who killed, who like uh, made that uh, promise with the uh, invaders or whatever they are. And uh, she ends up killing Carly because of it. Or Doug, if you had him in that situation. But let's be honest, who had Doug in their group? But, um... Lee stood up for Lily, like, trying to help her bring her, bring his stinking dad back to life, but then she kills Carly, and then we put her on the side of the road because, of course, like, she was a danger to the group and, like, all that jazz, and, uh, considering what happens if you don't leave her on the side of the road in that situation, it 
it's uh, not much better, honestly. Like, she's still stinking evil and stuff. So, I don't know. There's just not much I can say or do about it. I really don't think she would have changed all that much. Maybe she would have, I don't know. If I just advocated for her that much more in season one, but that was so long ago, I could not have prepared for that now, but I don't know. I really don't think a no. Bottom line, that was not a very happy reunion. Like as soon like she wanted to she was intrigued when she saw Clementine again. Like she should have no bad blood towards Clementine. At all. That is Undeniable. No matter what Lee did to her, Clementine was an eight-year-old girl when she knew her. There should be nothing against the two of them. Like, the fact that she's so stinking mean, like, the f the second she realizes that Clement uses Lee's death against her and, like, says that he should have abandoned her too and, like, it's okay, he's dead, all that jazz. Like, that's crummy. And, like, the fact that she killed me in that alternate timeline. I'm okay with my decision. I just have to accept that not every single reunion has to be a good one. Are you okay? It's been so long since I was here. I used to love this place, but it's so overgrown. I'll be fine. Let's just find a way in. Uh, I don't know, like, the fact that she's back. If it was Keeney, imagine if it was Sting Keeney somehow surviving that thing. Like, cause I'm still furious that he, that his ending was inevitable, like, I don't know, season three just makes me angry. <laughs> no, we're not going to talk about that, though. Uh, nothing. You're only here because we're desperate, you know, so don't get comfy. If we survive these raiders, you and I are going to have words. Let's survive first. Uh, I guess the only other thing was to look in this window. Mm, I can't see shit. <laughs> well, too much that was worthless. On the inside. Condensation? That's a big word for you. Shut up. <laughs> I think she comes back just for that. Uh, we're sort of getting back to the groove of being happy. Uh, there's a ladder. Actually, it's a step ladder. That window. I bet we can get in there. Good spot. Mitch, come here and give me a boost. Wait. Make her go first. We send the one we don't mind losing. That's well, that's one way of putting it. Vi says we need her help, right? That's you, Mitch. You I'll just go on the main character. I'll go first. I don't mind. Figured you'd fight it. Thanks, Clem. Holler if one grabs you. Otherwise, we'll come as soon as you give the all clear. I guess we'll know when the door opens. La di da di da di da. Hello. Any walkers mending the plants today? Okay, there are some in here. That's so weird that like when they can't get out and they just think that there's nothing for them around here, they just sleep. That's weird. Uh, no, I'm not. Okay, find a weapon. Oh, hello. Uh, was that the knife that we just saw? Grab knife. Uh, come on. X X X X X. Triangle. Also, I forgot to use the run button in that situation, but didn't even need it. I'm fine. Oh, thank God. oh, there's more of them. Oh, yeah, there's more of them. Cool. Oh, God. One of them's fast. Uh, he stuck behind the thing. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I saw he, he like, sped up. He sped up. He sped up. He sped up. He sped up. X, 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 Anymore? Did you get him? Do you hear any walkers? She got him. Calm down. Nope, I'm, I'm dead. Coming. I'll get the door open. Hello. Not bad. Thanks. <laughs> She's angry. Oh, he's oh, like, look. oh. Wild ginger. I wouldn't say Eastern that, Ruby. Oh wait, you better plant. artichoke. False Solomon seal. Let's find that barbed wire 
and anything else that might be useful. Guess we're taking stuff. Find barbed wire. Is this barbed wire? Could be a weapon. Or use it to dig a grave. You weren't there oh when we dug the holes for Marlin and Brody. We had to use cups oh. and bowls. Took forever. Okay, you were serious. Uh, look at the lawnmower. Another weapon? Nope. That'd be a funny way to kill zombies with a stinging lawnmower. Or like, the way with Deadpool, like, <laughs> using his... Is it a Zambodi? Is that how you pronounce it? You're gonna die to a Zambodi! Any minute now! Probably Some poisonous clam. Clam, what the fruit? No, they're. No. Probably not edible. Some mushrooms are edible. Probably not edible. Do I. You'll stop me if it's poisonous, right? Why would I do that? I'm stupid. What? This was for science. <laughs> oh my god. I thought it was funny. Okay, it was just a comedy thing. Or it could bite me in the butt, like, right at the end of the game, being like, oh, hey, remember that mushroom comedy bit you had? It wasn't even, like, during a big dialogue sequence. Yeah, that kills you in the end. Game over. Open the cabinet. Find a way open in the cabinet. Okay. You seem happy. You can only eat the same bland rabbit stew so many times before you go crazy. These herbs are going to do wonders for morale. You wait and see. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else? Oh, we could use the shovel to open up the cabinet, probably. Or a pry bar. That works, too. Uh, I'll pick that up in a second. Find something? Yep, maybe useful. Probably not useful. Oh, wait, please say, God darn it, try. I just remember the line from season one where Lee picks up a shovel and he says, A shovel is never not useful. <laughs> like, it's so sad, but like, why do you need to have a stinking dialogue thing for every single thing you pick up? You could have just picked up the shovel, but no, he has to have like a deep, meaningful conversation with the shovel, being like, A shovel is never not yes. useful. <laughs> it's so stinking funny. And it's like when they're trying to run away from walkers and. Uh, escaping from them, trying to get into a house to get safe and everything. It's just like a shovel. Never <laughs> not useful. It's so stinking funny. Did you find funny. anything? What do you think? Okay, just asking. You know, the barbed wire idea is smart, I'll give you that. Those assholes try and climb our walls, they'll tear their guts out. I kind of like to see that. <laughs> anything else? Doesn't seem like it. So, we'll go ahead and pick this up. A pry bar is never never not useful, I don't know. Uh, just go over here, quit reminiscing about the past, even though the past is coming back to haunt us. That was Lee's decision, you can't make me responsible for that. God darn, I'm still angry. Keeney had problems with Lee, but he didn't care when he saw Clementine. He was so stinking happy. Barbed wire. A lot of it, too. That should keep the raiders from climbing our walls. Hey, we can use these. For what? We can make bombs out of these. Bombs? What? Are you serious? Bomb oh, flowers yeah. exist. It's the kind of stuff I made back home. He used to blow shit up. That's why he's a troubled youth. Guilty. I just need some propane and something to create a spark. And we'll have ourselves a nice little... Alright, Hank, where are you? I've never seen King of the Hill, but I reference it all the stinking time. I was like, God darn it, Bobby, and like... Propane and Hank Hill. Like, I've never seen an episode of King of the Hill, but I reference it all the stinking time for whatever reason. What did you want me to do? I wasn't listening. I was reminiscing over the fact that... I reference a show that I've never seen. It's like I always reference Magic Man, but I've never seen Adventure Time. I've seen one episode and I thought it was dumb. But then again, I saw one episode of Steven Universe and I thought it was dumb. But then people kept on talking about it. I was like, maybe I should watch it again. And then I watched it and I fell in love with it. So, maybe I should uh, give it a second chance. Especially, like, did it just end? I thought it ended a while ago. But door. apparently the final episode There's just came out. In there. Come on, help me move this thing. Teamwork! 
I kind of like how they're giving us opportunities to interact with every member of the group. Like, we didn't interact with them in episode one, like having a little solo mission with them, but now we do, which is really cool. Oh, yeah, there could be more in there. Okay, let's see what's inside. And it's Lily's secret apartment. Hello! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, hello. Oh god. That's not bad. Zombie has boobs. I don't think I've ever seen them with boobs before. Uh, square! No, wait, that's not square. Oh god. You alright? We had a scare, that's all. Uh, I pressed circle by accident. Would that not have happened if I. Whatever. Wait, wait, it's not okay. It's still alive! Oh, don't tell me you know who they are. You can't. Oh god, this is gonna be bad. Who was she? Miss Martin, our nurse at the school. She stayed when all the others left. God. You're gonna want to keep her alive. She looks. Well, she has flowers growing out of her. That's a pretty cool zombie design. Barely recognize her. She's just. Just like all the others. I'm sorry, Ruby. I, I just wish I could make her look like she used to. We could. One day we came out looking kill for her and then Walker's attacked put us. decorations on top of her. Off, maybe. There were just there were so many. Ms. Martin told us to run, so we did. She taught me how to patch people up. Stitching, local anesthetics, painkillers, fever reducers. I don't think I can take care of her. Would you? I'm sorry. Oh, you want me to? Okay. Oh, buddy, I'm sorry. Well, at least she gave us a request to do it. Are you okay? Yeah. Just need a minute. Come on, guys. Help me find that propane and we can get out of here. What next? Find bomb components. I don't know how to make a stinking bomb flower. Ms. Martin meant a lot to you, huh? She was the only one who stayed. She saw us for what we were. A bunch of kids who no one wanted. She loved us when nobody else did. Like, really loved us. Yeah, I've known people like that. I guess everyone has. <sighs> it's crazy that there are still some good people here in this world. Ugh, looks like piss. Dare you to drink it? Not in a million years. Well, we did eat that Man. mushroom. Is there a drink option? Nope. Uh, pick up igniters. Uh, Mitch, is this useful? Fucking A. I was hoping there'd be one of those. That's an igniter. We can use it to create a spark. Now we just have to find propane. We can blast those motherfuckers to hell. Okay. Sounds good. You seem to know a lot about bombs. I made my first one when I was eight. Really? I was eight I once? The garage. <laughs> it was awesome. Though, Dad didn't think it was awesome. Dad gave me a chemistry set to keep me from fighting the neighbors. Uh, why would you fight the neighbors? I had a lot of energy. I had to use it somehow. And they didn't like my face. Uh, let's see. Examine beaker. You find anything? I actually I don't know what this is. My brother like the dust says F you. Like who the who the who the wrote heck that? Who the heck wrote that? Uh let's see. What the Uh there's the propane tank. But before we 
do that. Uh, look at the chalkboard. We're just setting up the fact that this entire our entire place is gonna blow up in the end, probably. Cause no place is safe. No little establishment or community that we ever find is ever uh, st stood the test of time. They all get destroyed eventually. This one will be no different. But I guess we'll still try. That's sort of the whole point of The Walking Dead. Is even though it, we know it's hopeless, we keep on trying. The original walker. Oh, come on, Clem, you don't put it in your butt pocket. Oh, beautiful and deadly. Uh, okay. Yeah, when you think about it, the Venus flytrap is the original walker. Uh, let's see. Anything else doesn't seem like it. Uh, wait, the flask. E flask! Well, that was worth it. But <laughs> like she just composes herself again. She's like, Bleh, and then she just goes. Bleh. Uh, nothing up here. Down there. Okay, time for the propane. Let's hope there's gas in it. X X X X. Looks like it. That was just stuck. Yeah, perfect. Here. Teamwork! Good, fine. Now we have everything we need. We should get back and tell the others. We have to bury Ms. Martin first. Bury her? Oh, God. Why bother? It's a walker. Help me drag it out back. We can burn it. No. Ms. Martin's the reason we're all alive. And? She deserves a proper burial here. Next to the greenhouse she loved. If the options were bury well, or leave, I would say like leave. This. But if he's gonna burn it, then... She's been dead for years. There's no point. She deserves a real burial. Well, if these are my options, then I'm gonna say bury. Help you bury her. It's the right thing to do for someone you cared about. Thank you so much. It's not a her. It's a walker. Well, burning would just make her miserable. Fine, whatever. I'm not wasting my energy on that thing. I don't know. If it was just leave, I would be okay with that. Just because, like, of the situation. But we're in somewhat of a calm situation now, so I don't think we're going to be wasting time. It's just a matter of whether or not you think it's worth it or not. I'll put or a stone in the graveyard. Stupid. Back at the school. Bet Ms. Martin loved this place. She'll be happy here. I'll make sure everyone knows you helped me. That you've got a... a good heart. Under all that muck. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Oh, well, we're making friends again. I'm sure I'll lose them all again by the end of the episode, but we'll just keep on trying. Think it'll be enough? Hopefully. And it means Lily and her people won't be able to climb the walls. They'll have to come through the gates. We can plan for that. Straight into a fiery explosion of death, assholes won't know what hit them. 